So if you've been doing this with me regularly, every day, you'll know we've been talking about faith. Welcome back, believer, saint, disciple of the Most High God. I refer to you that often because the power of death and life are in my words. And uh, I believe that everybody that is watching this and listening to these words are disciples, believers. They're not just average Christians that go about their day not considering God. Disciples, people who want to speak to God every day. Well, we've been talking about faith and having the will of the Father become your will. And because he expresses his will through words, the word of God is his will, because he expresses his will through his words. When his words and his will are spoken, are declared, he releases the power to make it come to pass. And so that same power is available to you if you don't doubt in your heart to move mountains, because it's not your power that's moving a mountain, it's God's power that moves the mountain. Because the, Jesus says in Mark 11, 23, if you ask it and you, don't, and you believe it and you don't doubt, it will be done for you, including moving mountains. So I don't have the power to move mountains. I hardly have the power to move a car. You know, if a car breaks down and you try and push a car, I have, hardly have the power to push a car, never mind move a mountain. So what am I believing in? The power that the Father releases because I'm in alignment with His will and His words are, are evidence of that. And because His words are evidence in my life, I'm having communication everywhere I go. I am communicating with my environment. I'm in communicating with all the spirits in the world around me that my will is aligned with the will of the Father. And those words Keep reinforcing my will is in line with his will. Wow. Just to think about that is quite powerful. And then he says, for this reason, I'm telling you, verse 24, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, trust, and be confident. The Amplified says that it is granted to you and you will get it. So he's, he's saying this twice. Ask and it will be done. Believe, ask, it will be done. Believe, ask, it will be granted. He's saying it twice. There is no mistaking this. And so he says, I'm telling you, whatever you ask for in prayer. So what is prayer? Prayer is communication with a divine living being. So the living divine being, which is the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, we're talking and communing with him. How do we do that? My will is in line with his will. And so when I speak every day his words that reflect his will, I am communing. I am actually saying my will is submitted to the will of God. Prayer is communication. It's words. It's from the heart. It's what's in your heart expressed into this life. Hallelujah. Into eternity. Let's pray together. And we say, Father, we once again want to make sure that our will is submitted to your will. And wherever we are, have failed, and on a daily basis, wherever we allow our thoughts and our emotions and, and our will to just pop up and, and, uh, and direct our lives the way it shouldn't be, that's why you have given us the Holy Spirit. And I receive the love of the Holy Spirit to help me, to strengthen me, to be my partner in life so that I can speak the will and the words of the Father constantly. And I thank you, Lord, that whatever I pray, you grant it to me today in Jesus' name. Dombrendi di gado goste gebramba bagote, lembrende vologromboste krivala goteki.